that we'd like to introduce our veterans and then we're gonna move right on to introduce our riders and horses Jeff Sanders United States Army 68th Armor Division Germany Dan Matias, a member of the Confederated Tribe, United States Marine Corps, 1971 to 1975. Hey, hey, nice. Coffee, United uh, States Air Force, uh, United States relief, Army, relief, and and American Indian Tribe. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to take the flags out because we didn't leave. Domestic veterans, okay. too. Terry Prescott, United States Army, 1982 to 2006. Paul Alexander Martinez Sr. He served from 1977 to 1988 with the 82nd Airborne 2nd Infantry Division, uh, the 50th Signal Battalion in Germany, and uh, the 50th Signal Battalion in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Robert Ike Sr., U.S. Navy, U.S.S. Kitty Hawk, Vietnam. 1962-1966. Gerald Danzuka, United States Army, 1st, 31st Mechanized, 2nd Infantry Division, 4th Chemical Company, 2nd Infantry Division, 84 to 86. Hey, hey. Raymond Kasumpti, U.S. Navy, served on U.S. and Catamount, LSD-17. 6266. Hey. 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 Samaritan Coffee, US Army, 86 to uh, 92. That's our veterans, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And with that, we'd like to introduce our walkers. My name is Marge Kalama. I represent the Tanawit Artist Group. 
and we're just starting and I'd like to thank everybody for doing their art here in Warm Springs. I raised three children, they're all girls, and water is life. Good evening, my name is Arlen Stwyer, and I serve on the Museum Board of Regents as the Vice Chair. I'm also a Native Arts and Cultures Foundation Fellow Mentor for 2018. It's a national award in which they selected eight artists. My name is Angela Smith, Indian name is McKeith, and I am the receptionist and development assistant here at the museum at Warm Springs. I hope you enjoy your time and I encourage you to uh, become a member if you can or donate in the drop box. Just have a good time. Thanks. Hey, I am Samayat Maven. I am the operations manager here at the museum. And I just want to thank everybody for coming out. It's so exciting to see everybody here. Thank you. Ms. Plawat, Hovani Shash, Tasana, Kutamar Moody. So, good evening. My name is Tasana, that's my Indian name, and my English name is Tamar Moody, and I'm the tourism education coordinator. And this is my sister, I want to introduce herself, and my daughter, Eleanor. So, thank you for showing up and supporting us at the museum. Yay! My Indian name is Sunut, my name is Charlene Dimmick, and I'm Tamar's sister. <laughs> Another round of applause for our walkers! And uh, we're gonna have all of our walkers and veterans to stay in this area for a group picture in just a short while. Good evening. My name is Lee Tom. I'm on the tribal council for the Sixtiqua district. And uh, you people are probably wondering, I'm wearing this headdress that was given to my dad 50 years ago in recognition of his chief, Johnny Wachino, and my dad come out of a chieftainship family. It was given to us 50 years ago. So this, I'm wearing it as this, for this dedication. I had a new crew here this year before all our other people have passed on. I think my son Justin, I got three, four, five grandchildren in this parade. And that's when horse, where there was a lot of horses here. And these gloves that I'm wearing, my cousin from Fort Hall made them for me. Tan buckskin hide. And I'm just proud to be here for the museum 25 years. So I guess I'm a quarter century into it. And I'd like to welcome everybody here to the Payamsha powwow and celebration. And here is our current Miss Warm Springs, Doricia Simtestas. <laughs> Just put on another show for you guys now. Nick Clowett and me, Naimama, Miss Dan Kyoyan, Shepatunk, me, Doricia Simtestas. Good evening, everyone. My Indian name translates to Eagle Plum, and my Shepa name is Doricia Simtestas. And the horse I am on, his name is Sting. Oh. And I just very, very proud to be here and uh, celebrate the treaty and invite everyone for the time shift, how well this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And just very glad to be here. Thank you. Hey. Good job. everyone. 
everyone, my name is Popsilu. My government name is Sally Polk Adams. I am the former Miss Warm Springs 2007. Welcome to Warm Springs. I hope you guys have a great evening. Sorry, the horse I'm on, his name is Clyde, and Anson Begay let me ride him tonight. <laughs> that was too loud. Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Brewstead. The horse I'm on right now is a horse I just recently bought from Hoppinish, Washington, his name is Wild Buck, but I call him Nelson because it's a cuter name. <laughs> and, um, if I don't see you, oh, I will also be in the uh, the Paiyamsha Powwow, so if I do not see you there, I'll be at, making an appearance at the uh, Paiyamsha Powwow. So I hope you, to see you there, and I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy the show we're putting on today. Thank you. Hey, good job. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jay Slade. I'd like to apologize first and foremost for not being dressed. I am a former Miss Warm Springs 2010. Um, I came straight from work and I wanted to get my daughter ready ahead of myself. But this is my daughter, Shermaya, and I'll have her talk for herself. She's royalty in training. <laughs> I want to play Jimmy with Kayusha. I want to go to Warm Springs. I hope to see you at the power this weekend. Thank you. All right, give it up to all the walkers and riders and veterans. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Kiana Yellowman. As Jefferson said, I am the former 2016 Miss Warm Springs, and I'll be seeing the Star Spangled Banner today.
Kiana Yellowman, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so with that, we'd like to educate all of our visitors and guests and young generations on the history of the Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs, which consists of the Paiute, the Wasco, and the Warm Springs bands. And with us here today, we have Louis Pitt, Director of Government Affairs, who's been with the tribe for many years as a historical researcher and uh, an educator and continues to represent us in a good way for many, many presidential terms he's been here. So, ladies and gentlemen, Louis Pitt. Thank you, Jefferson. Well, thank you, Vets, for your service. This is pretty neat. This is my second one I've been to like this, and it's uh, always a treat. Yeah, I'm Yawan Schwicht. I'm the government affairs guy. Welcome to Payamsha. Welcome to the traditional horse parade. This evening, there's going to be an opening for the uh, memory of the land exhibit inside. And we'll have a salmon bake that you're invited to. The Middle Oregon Treaty of 1855. This is just the, Lilo the Middle Oregon Treaty was negotiated between two sovereign entities, the Warm Springs and the Wascos, as the Middle Oregon tribes, and the United States of America. Some people think that uh, the government gave us this, gave us that. No, we had these rights before. We reserved those rights. We had aboriginal title to these lands here. It wasn't given to us. We reserved it for our exclusive use. <coughs> the Paiute folks by executive order later joined us to form what we have today as a confederacy. And that's three tribes of the Warm Springs, Wasco, and Paiute. 10 million acres was land owned by the Wascos and the Warm Springs that was given to, ceded lands given to the United States of America. 100% of Jefferson County was given title by the tribes. 100% of Wasco County given by the tribes. 100% of Hood River and so on. And we not only have rights on reservation, we have rights off reservation too. The right to fish, the right to hunt, to gather roots and berries and pasture our stocks on unclaimed land, and all the other rights that we brought to the table when we negotiated the treaty. So we kept a lot for ourselves. I always talk about the Indian problem. You know what the Indian problem is? We're still here. We're supposed to go away and disappear. Nope, here we are, huh, Reuben? We're still here, heck yeah. So, at Payamsha, we celebrate 163 years of the Middle Oregon Treaty and our time immemorial presence as, a, as nations here on our Indian lands. So we celebrate the memory of the land Coming up here, Payamsha celebrations, there'll be a lot of uh, things, mainly the powwow. And don't miss out on the powwow if it's your first time, it's a real treat. One o'clock, grand, uh, grand, grand entry, and seven o'clock at night. So one of those two, if you're a first timer, please enjoy that. It's really one of a kind event. So the land that we have is, wasn't given to us by the United States, it was given by the Creator since time immemorial, since the beginning of time. We have inside the Patriot Nations um, display, please. And uh, this evening you will have an opening of the uh, memory of the land. And please partake of that. And um, Carol, are you around? Here's some. Um, a good friend of the tribe's long 16 years working with us, Carol Leone, who's, uh, I'm sad to say, is going to be retiring here, and uh, her service has been invaluable to the tribe. So, Carol, thank you for your service, and uh, here you are.
Thank you, Louie. And uh, I want to thank all of you for coming to this event and for all of your support to the museum and the real care that you give to, to the museum and all the museum staff for their caring and their concerns and their <laughs> talents and the work they put in, our board of regents and board of directors who are amazing people who really truly are working hard on behalf of the museum. This year is has been jam-packed with things for us to work on, things to look forward to in the future. And uh, I just feel that I've been particularly blessed to be here at Warm Springs, working at this museum and learning to, and meeting people here in this community uh, who've welcomed me. So um, I'll be doing some different things in the future. And as I told a friend of mine, now I can write letters to the editor. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for being here and the exhibit will open. Can you announce it? Yes. The Memories of the Land exhibit will be opening right now. Yes. And that's what Natalie said. So that's inside. Let's go inside to the museum. And thanks everyone. Thanks Jefferson. The treaty is important to me because it tells our future generations that our elders took care of them, that our elders looked out for them before they were even born. And the treaty will be with our children and our children's children for the rest of our time.